last time on The Walking Dead. We didn't do pre-commentary thoughts and feelings. I can't get your death predictions for this. Well, I hope the both of us die, Snake. <laughs> That's a good prediction. I think I'll make it to the hour mark and then I'll just cop out and die. There's a nice window like behind me I can defenestrate from. I don't feel like dying is really a cop out. <laughs> Depends on how you go about it, really. Checking for DLC. Yeah, just it's waiting. It took all that time. Day of release, like just it should there be DLC yet? Should I, I be know. concerned? So yeah, we're about to spend two hours basically talking about a kids movie. Well, kids this. Movie. Like, I've played, I've watched a friend beat, uh, Back to the Future, but I've never played Sam and Max, so this is my first kind of, this is the only thing I can remember now that has Telltale's comedy writing, but it's aimed at children, so... Oh, it has comedy writing in it. That's yeah. Great. I mean, it has it's kind of kids Minecraft movie, jokes. very easy, yeah. The jokes in this are going to be Minecraft references. See how many you can catch. Oh, that'll be exciting. Uh, and... Maybe we should do a drinking game in episode two. Oh, God, no. But we can choose our appearance, and I hate the character models in this so much. Oh, God, they are all awful. They're all... We get all the, we get all the uh, colors here represented. Yeah, they're all the black, represented. The slightly less black and the mayonnaise white. <laughs> I go with, we going with. I'm going with going green with suspenders. I'm going with green suspenders. Oh, we're not going with the commentary comms median of perfect white. Nah. But we pick our model and we have male and female voices, and I can only remember the male's voice, the male voice actor, because it's Patton Oswalt, and I like Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt. He is a fairly good stand-up so, comic. So. uh... I don't know, I, I, his performance, his attitude has always been kind of lacking, like, it just gets boring. Yeah, I enjoy him. But, yeah, so the moment this was announced, you kind of contacted me right away and said, yeah, yeah, we're doing this. Yeah, we are doing this. There's no two ways about it. It seems like there's more effort into it since it's, uh... Because, like, the opening, I think, has more finesse put into it than usual Telltale Fair. It is a nice main menu. I was just enjoying watching them build for a little bit. Yeah, it was, it's a really nice main menu. Now let's watch blocks move around. Yeah. I mean, the thing about it as well is a lot of people are just saying this is stupid. It can be anything. And yeah, that's the point. Minecraft is so open-ended, it could be anything. Uh, criticisms of anything like it exists it, it has the right to exist and I don't see the point of like being like Minecraft is open ended and why is there a fucking huge community around adventure maps I mean this is just an adventure map taken to the lift taken to an extreme in a way yeah there are Minecraft books that are popular Oh. They're third party, for, and it's okay for some reason, but... Somehow they get away with the Game of Night 999 series. <laughs> I'm hoping there will be eventually a Game of Night 999 reference in this. I remember that I had this urge to make a Minecraft machinima that would strip the Game of Night 99, whatever the guy was, story, and just adapt it. It would be beautiful. It would be gorgeous. But the point. I wonder. I wonder if I would have gotten a cease and desist letter. I hate this opening line, but I'm glad it sets my expectations right a fucking way. We're trying to get the Reddit crowd. We need those memes. Don't fucking ask me anything. I'm just gonna be quiet. Just fuck off. <laughs> So, seeming as they're going with uh, gender options, and I doubt that Telltale would go through the effort of making very different routes for them, it means we probably won't see a lot of, you know, nuanced character development. No. And again, when I say it's a uh, kind of like a kid's movie, 
It's kind of like a kid's movie in the worst sense of the word in that it's not nuanced, it's just very upfront. E everyone's an archetype, and that's not a bad thing by itself. But it just means everyone's kind of bland and on the nose. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. Embrace being a loser. Tired of it. Embrace being a loser, Olivia. And if you do that, <laughs> we've, we've done this in Tom and Terry Collins. We've embraced it. Yeah, this is the only way to go. So, I've said I hate the models. I just want to go quickly into what I hate the most, and it's that stupid, smug fucking grin. It makes me slightly angry at every time I see it. What, what smug grin? Oh my god. Just look at them every time they grin. Every goddamn time. Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. So this is our trio of main characters. We've got big guy, girl, and Patton Oswalt not being Patton Oswalt. Did you bring the fireworks? Well then. Of course I did. Yeah. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. An dragon. Somebody's got to wear a costume. I mean, I mean, you know, we've got to catch all those references right away. He's the final <laughs> boss. That's the grin. Face. That's the fucking look. I was waiting for that. Also, this game. Why is Jesse such a fucking bitch? Like, he's a whiny he's baby. Oh, as actually a thing, I played him with the whiniest and bitchiest dialogue options. <laughs> this ain't Walking Dead anymore. I've just gone. I'm trying to be as much of a dick as the game will allow me most of the time. Hurry up and grab your stuff. Just a whiny little baby. Also, this game, weirdly enough, is probably the least stable Telltale game I've played. I, actually, I went reading reviews, which I rarely do, but quite a few reviewers had crashes. But the main issues I've noticed are subtitle problems. It's like subtitles overlap a ton. They just cut each other off. Sometimes they just don't work. Quite a lot of lines, are, well, a few lines here and there are just wrong. So what kind of uh, Minecraft gameplay elements does this game carry over? <laughs> um, <laughs> you click on how stuff. Hard how how hard would have it been to just you know make it play like Minecraft? It probably have it, the story. It probably would have been quite tricky to pull it off if they if they like made it adventure map mode and then just built high walls everywhere. They could funnel you, but. I kind of think that in many ways this just works better for telling a story in a Minecraft-esque setting. Which is a fucking weird sentence. Even though this game does disagree with my Minecraft headcanon, you know? What is your Minecraft headcanon? That none of these characters exist and Gabriel isn't all he's cracked up to be. <laughs> what? I mean, do you disagree with me? I like to imagine that these are just people playing on their computers, and they're just really into the roleplay aspect. You know, that's how I that's how I kind of had it playing in my head as well. This was just a Minecraft server where people have gone way too fucking deep. Does it do some meta stuff? Like, if you die, you just get peasant back <laughs> to your uh, spawn location? Just kill- it hardcore mode? Just kill all the drama right away by having it not be hardcore mode. <laughs> This, oh no, the hero died. Uh, I'll see him at spawn, I guess. Also, I mean, if you think about the Minecraft world, the fact that he's only got a wooden sword and a shitty tree house means he fucking sucks. He is really bad. I mean, a wooden sword and you already have, like, a ho how is that even possible? I want, like, I know it's a kid's game and it would never happen, but if I was going to write a Minecraft story, it would focus on the existential horror of never dying and living in a world that has just stagnated. There's never going to be any advancement. It's just, this is what you've got forever. Oh, and every night monsters spawn. You can't stop that. But they suck. Wow. Yeah. Poor Axel. I almost forgot his fucking name. Granted, I actually don't remember her name. Oh, it's Olivia. There we go. I wish we are. What? How are the mobs like in this game? Can you have a friend always. creeper? Maybe no a creeper that's up. friend. Well, it's only episode one, so there's still a ways to go. But maybe there will be a friendly creeper. 
It would have been amazing if it more focused on the mobs. What if, like, the mobs were the main characters instead of these, uh, fucking loser NPCs? Well, just make it, like, reverse Walking Dead where you're playing a zombie who has to avoid hunters at night. <laughs> just duck and hide out in a cave, you're like, Bob the friendly zombie. That's a way better story than these fucks. There's, there's like, an animated Minecraft thing that just focuses on, uh, an Enderman and, uh... I don't know, again, but an Enderman is a character. Problem. I've seen one of them, and it was fairly amusing. This is our first major choice. We just went over. They just they're going to the Endercon building competition, because that's what people do in this universe. They go to building competitions, and they're gonna make a fireworks dispenser. Wow! And if they win, they get to meet Gabriel the Knight. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, Nick. What do we do? What did we do? Um, it's kind of painful, isn't it, right away? <laughs> Don't, well, I mean, let's lighten your spirits, Noonan. Let's go run off into the forest and have a quick time tutorial. Yay! Okay, just hit the Q button, punch the tree. I'm pressing it really slowly. There's a... It's a, it's a montage. It's a montage, man. I don't give a- I just decided to see right away if I could fail this montage. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucking build a shovel! How are you so no. awful in Minecraft? You live in this world. You live in Minecraft world. How have you not figured this one out? Can you even get uh, sand by just shoveling them with your hand? Yeah, you can. It's just slower. It's stone that you can't get by just punching it. How is he already doing it this way? I know, he's got really game. wedge in like two seconds flat. Imagine if like uh, this game was really assholey about it and like <laughs> <laughs> the montage went going on forever <laughs> if he didn't do certain things. <laughs> no children, you must learn how to press up. So how does this help us with uh, getting a... Uh... A, a zombie statue. Well, we've got ink, we've got wool, we've got sand. Wow, got... that guy just fucked someone over. How, how are they gonna get a bed? I'm never gonna get a bed now. Also, have you never have you ever seen that many sheep in one location? This is taking too many liberties with Minecraft in my perspective. Now, you see, I wasn't against the idea of doing, um... Thing in Minecraft, I used to really like Machinima because I really like the idea of trying to tell a story with a very limited palette of maps and actions and character models you could do. So I think it could be interesting if you told us if trying to tell a story with only the elements Minecraft gives you. But then when it starts taking liberties with it, it just kind of feels like okay, so it is just whatever the fuck you want. Oh, so it gives up on its Minecraft facade. Not entirely, it just takes a very, very big liberty with it to create a bit of drama. Well, well, well. Oh my god. This is the order of the losers. <laughs> this is rival team. We're the tunnel snakes! <laughs> tunnel snakes rule! Let's go. <laughs> so they're dicks because. I do actually appreciate they, they, a... they managed to convey an arsehole face through Minecraft. <laughs> Of course, they're, they have leather jackets. They cannot be anything other than so the villains. I decided to go with the name Dead Enders because I like the double meaning. Because this is a dead end venture. It's cool. It's not okay. fucking cool. You guys are in booth five. Uh, Why, what does Dead Enders even mean in the concept of I mean, Minecraft? Aren't, aren't all Endermen technically dead? They're kind of monsters. That doesn't mean they're dead. Enders, Endem. I see the only connection I can make, and it just kind of sucks. No, nope. dead Enders, because they're they've hit the dead end. There's no way. I mean, it makes sense in the theme, like I said in the theme of the world. Everything is stagnated. No one's going anywhere. You're just living in a hellscape. Is this all that happens in this town? Just once a year, we build some bullshit. This isn't even a town, it's just, like, the woods. Like, where where does everyone else like live? This. Is there any civilization? Well, there is. Spoilers. But this civilization sucks. Hello. Man, it's crowded. 
Not really. It's a nice shader, though. Yeah. Imagine if they didn't have a shader. <laughs> Imagine they just used the flat lighting of Minecraft. Mm. It would have been so fucking ugly. It is still ugly. Like you, if, it would be modestly decent if the models were just in here in your we fucking can, face, yeah. but <laughs> they're just everywhere. A review I was I read did make a good point about this, and that the kind of beauty of Minecraft isn't in fucking how it looks. It's in the fact that it's randomly generated, and you occasionally get a nice vista from it. But these have been obviously fucking handmade by a fucking set designer, and they're fucking bland as shit. They're just like less impressive than quite a few builds someone else would chuck together. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Excuse you, we're dead enders. Yeah. It's, it's a lot it's a lot cooler name. I would argue it isn't. I would order Order of the Losers at least is self aware. Maybe not all of them. It would be awesome if you, you also had the chance to pick <laughs> the loser name. I would have appreciated that. Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? Takes itself way too seriously, I doesn't know. it? Yeah. It's, I, you gotta kind of half appreciate they decided, fuck it, we're not even gonna acknowledge we're taking this straight. Hey, Jesse. But, like, it's taking itself not seriously in the usual, like, made-for-children way, but it's a fucking telltale Minecraft game. Come on. It's a joke. It's a joke. And they've got You're five more episodes to go. No, four more episodes to go. None of us know uh, you know, I when I was doing The Walking Dead, I'd play every episode three times. A test run, the first recording, and then the extra shit. I got to this point, and I just stopped and started recording. I was like, no. I can't. I can't do it three times. <laughs> Why would you even do it three times anymore? I mean, really... Just so I can kind of predict what's going on and memorize my options a bit better. See what's funny. But it's it was funny in The Walking Dead because it kind of came off as unintentional, but now they're trying to be funny with these lines, so it's not funny anymore. Walking Dead is feels a lot more fast-paced than this. Like, we're fucking 18 minutes in almost, and we're in a fucking contest building a giant zombie. With a, with a pig in a dragon suit. I mean... And somehow it's boring as fuck. In any other context, this would be interesting, but it's Minecraft, so... Well, I think it's very fitting, because in the scheme of Minecraft, it's also very boring to build a giant fucking statue. <laughs> yeah, true. We'll call it the... I hate all of these names. Just I'm just not even going to fucking acknowledge this. <laughs> That's, that's all the names this guy came up with. It's like, uh, uh, I can't say any of these. This is just too much. It's too painful. Handshakes are for dweebs anyway. <laughs> okay, that's the first legitimately funny thing they wrote that was funny on its own accord. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. The plan is to mash Q, guys. Just mash Q in sync with me. And what was even the plan? Like, why did they have to, like, go through that montage? <laughs> Uh, why, why, does, why does our main character need to know how to do, like, push-ups to build the fucking... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Statue? So he could be wedge enough to do this. Damn. We're the tunnel snakes. <laughs> Please save my mom. I can't remember how the fuck Butch sounded. <laughs> save my mom. She's gonna be killed by a rad roach. By a creeper. I don't fucking know. So, this is their game-winning plan. Build a zombie in front of the fireworks dispenser. Okay. So wow, these are really uninspired. The zombie? Zombies just in front of it, blocking it. Oh, I thought we were making a giant zombie. Oh, wait, that's the zombie? Yeah, it's just a 2D fucking... Oh my God. Yeah. It's amazing that you could do anything, because you're... Telltale, you don't even have to show how it works, and yet it's so uninspired. And also, these people are fucking idiots, like, wow, guys. Snake pause. Okay. What time are you at? 
1956. Okay. What time are you at? 45. Oh, what boy. time were you at again? 56? Yeah. How do we go out of sync? My video glitched. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So this is 1956. Put that in here. Noonum of the future. Noonum of the future. You'll be so annoyed. It's okay. I'm really hope that would have been much better if that was intentional and just made Aiden an outright dick. Like, fuck it, I'll torch everyone here. <laughs> I'll just have to kill everyone. That way we'll win. Just shove him into the fire as you collapse and go. And so Aiden was dead. I mean, it's just like, all oh, this is awful, because like, Endercon, it's all it, it, it's it's bringing the worst parts of Minecraft, which is its con, into the game. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean the problem I'm having with you know I enjoy Minecraft not half as fucking much as I used to. I barely play it. I only play it when we're fucking doing hardcore now. By the way, if you want to enjoy watch something that's more enjoyable, go watch our hardcore games. It's Minecraft, but fun. That's a good tagline for it. No, but the point is, I'm not sure if I do catch all the references because Minecraft is fucking it's big for its boots. What? It's big for its very square, flat boots. There haven't been a lot of references. Like the most obvious references are like the visual reference, because like I mean the the tree on fire is obviously very Minecraft. Mm. Okay, so I guess it's more just like just using stuff in the Minecraft world, which is what I wanted anyway. But Endercon is just so on the nose and painful. Ruben, are you in there? That's not even a convention, it's a competition. Yeah, why is it called a con? There's a very delineated difference between a convention and a competition. So it should be like Endercomp or something. No, you... I was about to say, and this would have gone, no, I just realised right away they couldn't. They could have called it Minecomp. <laughs> But no, no, they couldn't have done that. So I see the, that Ru Ruben has the Scooby Doo effect of being a smart pig. Yes, he's. A, did you not see in the tutorial? He's a sassy pig, as well. Yeah. He knows how to make knows how to make those faces. For some reason he turned into Miyagi for, uh, for uh, some ungodly reason. Just a pig. Ruben, it's getting scary out here. But that's what they needed. They needed a Miyagi pig to just get across that the main character fucking sucks. Oh boy, that gives it away, doesn't it? Smoldering costume. Smoldering costume. Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh my god. Also, if why did he get so offended that his pig was called food if he named his fucking pig Reuben? I wish that Ruben would have been food. Like, would that would have been some heavy my uh, Walking Dead esque shit happening there? <laughs> well, he just picks up and there's two floating cooked pork chops. Like, oh no, oh Ruben, <laughs> and then it pops into the inventory. <laughs> <laughs> he just like because he can't not pick them up. That would that would be a good like Minecraft really a joke. It's just like. <laughs> Someone dies and you just all of their stuff gets into your inventory. It's like, no, I don't want this. This is bad. I have to look at all their stuff again. Ruben, is that you? I mean, do we really care about Ruben? No, only the main character does. This is just. I wish. I wish when the main character went through the water, it did the awkward way Minecraft characters move through water. But nah. Just kind of, has... just kind of floaty and heavy and. The game starts lagging unbelievably. This game has no heart. It, it is kind of soulless. Of course, it's a telltale game based on Minecraft. Based on an IP. Granted, they're all based on IPs nowadays. When's, what's the last original thing Telltale did, like their own creation? Nothing? I can't say a single thing. Uh, nothing? So, Wait, this is this is this this snake is probably the closest it will ever get to that. Because they, it was so open ended, they could just write their own story with it. There was no preset kind of lore or characters to work from. 
I mean, The Walking Dead did its own interpretation, but the setting was there. So this is just our run-through of all the Minecraft mobs. Do you remember zombies? Zombies. Creepers. I'll give this game... Sword. I'll give this game one compliment. Its combat is better than Minecraft. <laughs> it's terrible, <laughs> but it's better than Minecraft. There's actually an element of timing to it. Also, like, fucking... Like Beyond Two Souls, it doesn't matter if you press those buttons, you succeed anyway, it is... I mean, it's a kid's game, so it goes very easy on you, there are far less deaths. You've got a health bar in these segments, as you can see. So yeah, it goes e It goes really easy on the player. Which is not good for me, because I'm semi-decent at quick time events, which means when I have to go and get all the deaths, it's actually harder. Yeah, you had every opportunity to make a better sword. Don't tell me you've not yeah. seen iron. You Like, we saw you in the montage, you were getting wood and stone, it's plentiful. At any point in your life, you could have like 20 swords on you if you wanted. Oh my god, it's a spire. Run away, I'll distract them. I'll be a hero. What? You know what's really, it's very easy to run away from Minecraft mobs. Yeah, just double tap forward. Oh, you fucking suck so much, Jesse. You're the worst. You're just the worst. You ready for some Walking Dead bullshit? Oh my god, really? You ready for some Walking Dead bullshit? Who is that? That's that... Molly 3.0. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not Molly 3.0. That's really disingenuous of me. I can't remember. Oh, it's Petra. So, this is a kid's game. Can't call it extra shit. It's extra stuff. Uh, whoa! You're using the Minecraft font. I've had it for so long. If you say nothing, you get called the No Names, which is just as fitting as Dead Enders, really. So this is how bad it is if you actually go with one of these names. I went with the most painful. So for our extra char extra stuff character, you went with a black woman. I went, well, you see, I saw the yellow striped shirt and I thought, yeah, that's just as fucking stupid as green suspenders. I picked it on clothing <laughs> options, mostly. So are you, are you telling me, Snake, that you. you're colorblind? I am colorblind. <laughs> stupid, Snake. Look, I hate everyone in this game. I hate everyone. I'm not sure what that has to do with it. So if, you do not know who voices the female character? I forgot. I've sadly forgotten. She does a fucking good job, though. I'd say she's better than fucking Patton Oswalt, who just sounds kind of disinterested most of the time. She at least sounds like she cares. Also, if you tell them to follow you, they just immediately sprint off. So it makes no difference to the scene itself. This is when it reminds you, yeah, this is Telltale. Your choices don't fucking matter. Ruben. And for no real reason, if you go to the left, it's just the pretty much the same thing, except you can pick up a carrot. I've always wanted a carrot. And now we have one. Well... I feel like this character is a lot more valuable than our main run character, because, I mean, she has carrot. Yeah. What does our character have? A broken wooden sword, flint and steel, and no carrot. No carrot? And yeah, so if you don't want to go through the river, you can go through a cave. I'm not sure why it matters. It doesn't matter, really. It's just... I mean, it doesn't make a difference. One route isn't safer or has more or less quick time events than the other. It's just if you go through here, you see a spider. I mean, why would, like, during Minecraft date night time, you go to a goddamn cave? It just makes her seem like... It makes it seem like I've played her as the sillier of the two characters who doesn't fucking think things through. So it's night time, I'll just go into the secluded cave. Oh my god, it's Ruben! Oh my god, Snake, this is just awful. This game is awful. I yeah. just, I can't even pretend anymore. It's awful. 
What? What is this? Who thought this was a good idea? Who's playing this and enjoying this? Someone. <laughs> well, now I'm enjoying it. <laughs> and there goes the arrow. It's time for deaths. There. Um. They kind of suck. Poof, poof. <laughs> wow, it, it doesn't even poof. Doesn't even poof, yeah. I was about to bring up, wouldn't that be some great fucking horror right there? If you die, your body just disappears and no one knows you're gone. <laughs> you just die yeah. alone in the woods, you fucking disappear. That's it, you're done. Oh my god, killed the cow. What? No. <laughs> gave the pig. What's the difference? <laughs> gave pig a black eye, and that's all the extra shit. I told Ruben to stay with me so he gets punched in the face. Classic Ruben.